Hi, when you first start SoftTutor, there are many different ways you can run SoftTutor. So here I have SoftTutor up on the screen. And if I didn't know anything about MicroStation, I could just start with Chapter 1 and work my way all the way through to the end of SoftTutor and end up on Chapter 18. Or what I can do is I can just play the stuff that I might be interested in learning. I can also go and search for things. So if I wanted to just learn the array command, I could just type in array, hit a carriage return, and it'll show me the array commands that are covered. I might want to learn about the polar array. So I just choose that. SoftTutor will find it and start playing the video. You might have to press the play button. Let's take a look at the I'm going to pause it. And if I want to follow along with SoftTutor, I click the box here to keep it on top. However, if I'm new, what I might want to do is just watch the video one time through, and then the second time through, I might want to follow along with SoftTutor. And for this example, we're going to follow along with it right away. You can move SoftTutor off to the side. Now remember, when it's set to keep on top, things might pop up underneath SoftTutor that we don't see. So we want to run MicroStation, and if you'll notice here, I'm on chapter 5.7. So I want to find the example file, 5.7, and open that. So I select it, choose open. Now what I might want to do is move my example file around a little bit, or I can move SoftTutor around, or I can resize SoftTutor as well. For this example, I'm just going to move the uh, example file a little bit. Notice when I click back and forth between MicroStation and SoftTutor, the first click turns the application on, the second click runs the command. Okay, turn on SoftTutor, then press play. Turn on Microsoft or MicroStation, then do the command. Okay, so I'm going to play Soft Tutor. Polar array command, which allows us to take an object, in this case this element here, this circle, and rotate it around with copies around a focus point or a central uh, location, which will be at the end of this line. So we use this line as sort of a guide to show you how the rotation will take place. So I select the command. Okay, now it was a little fast for me, and he's a, I wasn't paying attention. So I want to rewind it a little bit. Just hold this and watch what he does and try to follow along with him. Nice. So I select it. Okay, so it's the uh, selection. It's the third one down. One, two, three. I'm holding this down. And I look for the array command. Okay. Now I can play soft tutor. is going to give me the angle between each copy and the item number will be four including the original so I have three copies the prompt down below says identify the element I'm going to select that and now it's going to ask me to accept or reject the selection and I'm going to simply select it at the bottom here the data point and you'll notice that I have a 30 degree angle between those Okay, now I can rewind this and play it again. I can try some of the options there. I can go into Edit, Undo, and I can see what it looks like with uh, six elements in there. And I can change the angle to be maybe 20. And try it again. See? You can keep screwing around with it and playing, and you're going to learn by doing. So you can, you don't have to do what the teacher does. The teacher is your guide. He's teaching you the commands and you're following along with them. And as you learn more about MicroStation, you can change the colors. You can really get more and more creative as you go through it. And if you wanted to do the example file again, I just recommend that you undo the command at the end so that you can come back to the uh, this DGN file and be able to start fresh again.